morning, Bowser. It is time for our morning announcements. I'm Madeline. And I'm Tamara. And we are your anchors for VTV. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Today is Tuesday, Thursday, January 7th. It is a silent reading day and also National Bobblehead Day. In school news, Monday, January 18th, Ball Creek Valley hosts a Martin Luther King Jr. Day celebration from 3 to 6 o'clock. Everyone is invited to attend. One part of this Martin Luther King event is an essay contest. Students may enter the contest by January 12th to be el eligible for the class prize. For details about the contest, call 855-1240. This information will be scrolling on the TV announcements throughout the day. If you are ever absent or late to school, you can access the BTV broadcast on our YouTube channel linked on the school website. Robotics Club members need to bring in their permission forms for the January 16th competition at Heritage Christian by next Monday, January 11th. From now until January 12th, B212 is closed for laptop repair during college prep. Testing is going on in this location. Please take laptops that need worked on to A105. The Belzer Block staff is in search of student artwork. Submit your artwork to C110 or email copies to Mrs. Trotter this month to show it off in the Belzer Block. NJHS is still continuing with tutoring on Mondays. Belzer Clubs will also resume this week. Today's lunch menu is baked ravioli with garlic toast, honey barbecue rib sandwich, BLT chef salad with egg, ham and turkey and cheese chef bagel, sweet potato casserole, and golden corn. And now to Josh with sports and weather update. Today's weather is a high of 46 and a low of 36. It's going to be partly cloudy. Sports facts. It takes 3,000 cows to supply the NFL with enough leather for the year. Today's boys basketball will play against Fall Creek Valley at 5 p.m. 7th grade is at home and 8th grade is at Fall Creek. Thank you, Josh. In national news, no one won the $500 million Powerball lottery last night. The lottery amount is now six six seven five million and the new record for the highest amount. Seventeen miners in New York were trapped underground through the night. Rescuers raced to pull eight of them from the elevator shaft and continue at this time to release the remaining workers. Yesterday, North Korea claims it successfully conducted and detonated a hydrogen bomb. But there are, however, speculations that it was actually just a nuclear test. According to CNN, if it was a hydrogen test, it was a colossal advancement for the reclusive regime. Quote of the day, Thornton Wilder once said, Love is an energy which exists from itself. It is its own value. The same history. In 1789, the first presidential election was held. Interesting fact. Cleopatra lived closer in the time to the moon landing than to the construction of the Great Pyramid of Gazi. Joke of the day. What kind of fish is worth a lot of money? What? A goldfish. Now to Mr. Harshu with the rest of your morning announcements. Have, Have a, a great, great day, day Bruins. Bruins. Good morning, Bruins. Uh, just one thing I wanted to mention. Yesterday I saw a tremendous improvement in our building. Uh, with students showing a little bit of a sense of urgency and getting to class on time. I want to encourage you to keep that up. Um, it's good to do that for a day, but the key is can we do that over an extended period of time. So those of you that are getting to class on time, I want to make sure I, re I recognize you and thank you for doing the right thing. And uh, those of you that have not been doing that, we're going to uh, get a hold of you and help you start making good choices and, and create good habits for yourself. So thank you for that. Um, I want to make sure I give you the rest of today to use for silent, sustained reading. Again, get those reading logs out and log those minutes so that they can count towards your reading log, which will be collected next Tuesday. Thank you, and have a great day.